Shut up and sit down. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Ken Frederick Podcast, episode 126, Avengers Infinity War Spoiler Review. You've been officially warned. Spoilers. There's a lot of spoilers for yeah. this movie. Spoilers. Are you sure this is a spoiler review? Spoilers and stuff. Yep. Jump out now while you can. Stupid stuff. And go see yeah. the movie. Yep. Because it's going to get spoiled if you don't see it soon. Yes. By somebody. Uh, so thank you for listening. If you just stumbled across us on the interwebs, check us out at kfpodcast.com. At Cat Podcast on Facebook, at Ken Fred Podcast Winner, and then on Ken Frederick Podcast and all your other social media needs. <laughs> I got that out of the way. Yeah, there you go. We Don't sound really excited. Uh, Infinity War, we just saw it. It's 11 o'clock at night. Yep. We just it's saw time. it. And we have no Justin. No Justin. He's not hmm. seeing it till Saturday. So we'll talk to him. Don't spoil it for that. Justin. Yeah. We got Lance. We hey. got Rob. We got Brock. Hi. And we got Don. Yep. We're here to talk about a movie that we've been waiting ten years. It's been ten years in the making. Yep. Twenty plus movies to lead to this. Yep. I think nineteen. Eh, I'm just gonna correct you guys. Yeah, <laughs> you can correct me. How many movies is it? I think it was nineteen. I think this is the nineteenth movie. Okay. I'm sure if I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. I was right or wrong. (laughs) (laughs) You will be fact checked. So you know how we do this. We're gonna give our reviews. These are spoiler heavy reviews. You know the rules. You know the rules. All that shit. We're going to start with Rob. End of the table. Spoiler or non spoiler. You can say whatever you want. This is your fucking talking about this. This is your review of the movie. Start reviewing it. Tell us what you thought about it. Um, And you can use as many spoilers as you want. I enjoyed it. I did. Um, I don't know if my mind was blown like I had. (laughs) Really hoped it would be, but I enjoyed it. They didn't waste any time. They jumped right into the into everything. They really oh, jumped yeah. right into it. Yeah, there it was, was no foreplay. No, yeah. yeah. it was it was straight death. Right straight from Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. Yep. This yeah. Is pretty much right after it, which is great. Yeah. Yep. And you know it was really nonstop from then. It wasn't. Uh, it was pieced together appropriately mm-hmm. i wouldn't say it was a piece together the best they did they did a lot of jumping from place to place scene mm-hmm. to scene group to group um it wasn't confusing uh but there was a lot of that jumping around yeah a lot of jumping around but not confusing right yeah, yeah. so um that was good uh, i i think that you could really get lost in that jumping around if, if you if it's not directed properly or even mm-hmm. cut properly you know i won't give all the credit to the director and i like that they put the words up we're in wakanda yep or mm-hmm. in space so you knew right where you're at i just said space yeah, yeah. just said space yeah. you know yep. and then they even play that way i like that so you know like all right yeah. what's going on we're back here now you know and it wasn't uh things that, pr- that preceded this weren't forgotten about mm-hmm. you know we, we visited a lot of places that were seen in other movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and you go to Farheim, though. No Farheim, but close. Mm-hmm. Ramheim. Everything, everything was really mentioned. Um, reunions happened that, that were appropriate, that weren't overshadowed. Mm-hmm. Um, and they developed uh, a, a pretty good relationship, you know, between the Scarlet Witch and the Vision, and they didn't overdo that love angle mm-hmm. uh, that, would, that could have been overdone. But uh, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I did. Um, I'll probably process it a lot more. Probably see mm-hmm. it another time or two. Um, yeah, you got to see it a couple times. Yeah, we miss a lot of dialogue, I think, because of the annoying people behind us who hysterically laughed at every small <laughs> joke. Yeah, I was behind you. It wasn't you. <laughs> no, okay. It was those two girls next to you. I don't know how you dealt with them the Did whole you, time. Were you able to see the screen with Don peeing every five minutes? <laughs> I only went twice. Well, and then at the end. <laughs> well, every time I saw someone get up, I'm like, oh, no, bald head, darn. No, bald head, darn. There's a lot of people getting up to that movie. Like, it's, no, it's not movie. that long. Yeah. It's a long movie. You have well, diabetes, you got to pee a lot. It's hard. Yeah, or a long movie when you get the big gulp, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My pregnant wife only peed once. <laughs> So, See, so that should be the gold standard. <laughs> yes. If you have to pee more than the pregnant woman or the diabetic, there's a problem. <laughs> there you go. Rock, you're up. I'm up. I thought it was very good. I was not blown away, like Rob said, and I don't think it lived up to the hype, but like I said in our reaction video, I don't think anything could. 
Uh, is there a specific reason why you think it didn't live up to the hype? Something in, in general? I thought it was a lot of it was predictable. Like because they spoil too much in the trailers anymore. Like we pretty much pieced exactly. together exactly what was going to happen up until the end. Yeah, well, we said there were going to be like three battles going on mm-hmm, in separate on. places. But was but was that coupled with your knowledge already of the subject matter? Probably. Someone who someone who came into it cold. Just watching. I don't think they'd have a clue movie. what was going on. Right. Well, Mindy is kind of cold too. She never read the books, and she liked it. She yeah. seemed to at least. She had a question about vision, and what was going on with that. And then she had a question about why was Josh Brolin the, the guy that played number two in the Austin Powers movies? And I'd explain it. Who was number two wonderful? <laughs> she was disappointed that whenever Thanos, the actor, what he looked like was just the whole Josh Brolin. She's like, really? This is Thanos? She's very disappointed in that. I'm, I'm mad he didn't have the helmet. He did, he in, did in the season. beginning. Yeah, I yeah. think he did until he realized he didn't need armor anymore. Yeah. Like he had the one gem, and he's like, oh, well, now I have two. I he can... should have just went out there naked then. I mean, yeah. he, was... <laughs> he had a sweet vest, though. He did have a cool sweet vest with a little skirt. <laughs> yeah. He looked he awesome. Did. Until... He, did, yeah. he did look good. He I didn't get why he took the armor off either. Yeah. I'm glad he had it on when he when he, when he breaks into the ship. Yeah, because he's he wearing like, it. Like Ken said, he needed it then. Yeah, so it makes sense. Whole pl- a plane full of Asgardians, yeah. Yeah. and he had it in the flashbacks with yeah, yeah, I think they did it more to humanize it. him. That like yeah. he's, he's a he's, and they did a great job of that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he's a regular. He's like a guy. You he's know, a like, man on a mission. Yeah, yeah. and actually, like, he didn't need it after he realized he survived the Hulk. His yeah, intentions are good, but his methods are bad. Well, Thanos would survive the Hulk without the suit. He's just as strong. You think Thanos can take the Hulk yes. without the, any of the go- any of the gems? Yeah, he's just as strong as the Hulk. Can he take him though? I mean, to the ball? Well, like, <laughs> can he beat him one on one? Yeah, because he's intelligent. The Hulk's not. That, but it's the same Hulk strength. Is stronger when he gets matter. I, I don't have to fight this argument. You're just <laughs> well. I'm just saying that's always been Hulk's thing. He gets stronger. Typically, whenever I've seen them written at the same time, they're at the same strength level. Yeah. But because they had a says, power stone at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Next week on Super Fight. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do have to say, there's one thing that annoyed me, and it was Drax and Mantis. They just got old real fast. With the, the just the stupidity of the, those two characters, the goofing around. Yeah, we get it. They're dumb. They mm-hmm. don't know what's going on. They're naive or whatever it is. It just got old to me. The mantis, I don't think it was as bad because when she was like tapping it, you know, I feel like a lot of her time just always touching someone. Mm-hmm. But the one she was, she was doing the. She didn't understand the. Well, I think mantis. The whole reason she was even written into Guardians two and as in this was for that role where she was able to can. She was the telepath. She controlled the Thanos for yeah. a little bit. Where, yeah. Then Peter Quill ruined everything yeah, and caused all this. So I think, I think Star-Lord got on my nerves more than anybody. I thought I thought like Drax has had a couple funny moments. I thought Star-Lord like went and stopped goofing around. And then he was like so serious at the end and ruins the whole plan. I'm like, you're he kind of bothered me. No, I'm, like, I, I, I'm with you. He was the one that I really wanted to strike. Yeah, I was like, God, <laughs> yeah. another joke from him. Like, Okay, we get it. You know, like Star Lord's really funny. The, yeah. the comedy between Rocket, Groot, and Thor was good though, because it, was it wasn't forced. Yeah. It was just natural with them because yeah. it was just they're all yeah, it's a continuation. Thor's comedy right. is Already perfect because it's right. that naive comedy. Like uh-huh. he just you're a bunny to him. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. get why that's funny. He's yeah. not trying to be funny. Right. Right. They took yeah. that formula with Thor. Yeah, and extremed it with Drax. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know. Literal everything. Yeah, and everything's you know. literal. Everything's to the point. You yeah, know, Thor's good with that way. I mean, he thought he had the power to become invisible and stuff like that. I mean, come on. Yeah, it was just stupid. It was pointless. If anybody got jobbed out in the movie, it was Drax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, but I, I, I don't like that version of Drax anyway. I always like the Space Hulk version. Space Hulk version. Yeah, he hasn't <laughs> yeah. been around a while, but he would have been cool. Yeah, I don't know why, when the actual well, the changes in like the early two thousands. But he was never really like that in the comics. No. Like how he is now. He's yeah. like that in the comics now. Yeah, because yeah, they've made a movie version. Right. Yeah, but whenever he ripped out Thanos' heart from behind when him and Gamora right. were together. Yeah. Because they were dating at the time. I think whenever mm-hmm. he did. Yeah, they were the ones that were together in the book. Yeah, they were together because they were hunt, just looking to hunt down Thanos and kill him. Right. Because he doesn't have the microphone plug then. <laughs> It'll get louder as we talk. Keep going. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy. Oh no, Alice will dare. Keep going. We're back. It's louder. <laughs> <laughs> I can see where people, the Drax thing is going to be 
he was probably I don't know just over the top. I can get that. The other the, the thing that bothered me about this movie, I'm sorry, I just need to cut in. No, go ahead. Is Iron Man's morphing suit? Yeah. It, I think they went overboard with Iron Man. The, suit. the, the yeah. nanotech. It, yeah. it, it, they did it. Uh, uh, that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but he eventually started running out of pieces, which yeah. I thought was cool. Yeah, I like that they did that. They just didn't have like an infinite supply yeah. of yeah. nanotech. Yeah, he was moving armor around. Yeah, then he was... started running out. When I mean, the first thing he did on Earth when he brought those like weird guns yeah. out and shot Black Dwarf or yeah. whatever mm-hmm. or. A call obsidian. You call obsidian. Yeah. I thought, okay, well, that was different. But then, like, he seemed to have every weapon. Yeah. You, I can make a sword. I can make a shield. I can make a big gun. I can make double punching hands. Yeah. It got a little too. He much. turned into oh, what's a transformer? Yeah. He, it he, got a little his, too what's much. What's his name? Was it's like a Batman utility belt? Yeah. yeah it, it, it was like so much shit that he could, the, it could was use. Rough. You know. And then he, I did like that he sort of ran out of options at, at the end. Actually, yeah. he reminded me of the freak. <laughs> oh yeah. He always changing. He's like random from the X Men. Yeah. yeah, making weird guns with his hands <laughs> and all that. Yeah, it was it was it got annoying to me. And then like his foot like stomped on the glove and then encased around it. And yeah. I was like, there's got to be a point where you have to communicate what this is doing. And how does your brain think? All right, this needs to go in this far, wrap around the th- like. I can, yeah. Well, it's a part of him. It's like his yeah. nervous system almost. It's plugged yeah, right into his body. So because he did realize it, it, they did show that he could work without like Friday his intelligence. Yeah, that's he didn't true. even need her. Yeah, I didn't like that they were going down the whole thing again with him of like he's retiring and giving up so he can be with Pepper again. Like, mm-hmm. are we past that shit already? You know, yeah. like. Eventually, that's going to be what it is. This is going to ride off to the sunset with Pepper. Well, but that's the exit. That's the exit strategy. Yeah, right? yeah. And he'll be the consultant whenever they need him. Yeah. He'll be around. <laughs> Do you like the? How about the Iron Spider suit? I like the Iron Spider. Suit. I didn't mind it. He learned how to pilot it real quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like <laughs> well, he actually said, "You really made this user friendly." <laughs> it wasn't overly technology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He still relied on web slinging and yeah, you know, his strength. Yeah. What about you, Lance? Go ahead, your review. So I I agree with uh, Rob and Brock. Um, this movie couldn't have lived up to the hype because I don't think that hype would be. I don't think I don't think it's achievable with today's current technology. Right. I mean, for for it to be what we all think it would be, it would have to be like a mixed or an altered reality. It'd be a movie. lot more than three hours. Yeah, too. Mm-hmm. it'd be a lot more than three hours. Um, I really liked how they actually moved and 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 put the stories together. I thought. All of them had purpose. There were very few, I don't know, there were very few throwaway scenes to me. Mm-hmm. You know, in Ragnarok, even in Ragnarok, which I liked, there were a few scenes where I'm like, you could have just done without them. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't, I couldn't picture, I couldn't picture more than maybe 30 seconds of that movie I would have changed. Yeah, like Tony talking to Pepper. Right. The I mean, Drax the, trying to be invisible. Yeah. But I mean, it was, it was like, you know, like, like, we were, like, like we were talking about, Don, it was really good when you know, to see, like, cameos with the Red Skull and things like that. Yeah. Where, oh, yeah. That Red Skull Red cameo. Skull. Was... Let's talk about that for a second. That was fantastic. Uh-huh. I mean, that, that could open up a whole new, oh, a whole yeah, new that like, was line of movies. I was like, who is that? That Because I was like, is that Death? Yeah, I didn't like know that? who it was, and I didn't know if maybe it was an old Thanos that, like... And all yeah. I had was Mindy next to me, yeah. so I couldn't turn around and go, is that the fucking Red Skull? <laughs> <laughs> I, I go, I go, I, I turned around and I said, that's Red Skull. She goes... From what? <laughs> I was like, I go from Captain America. And she goes, Captain Planet. I was like, oh, I'll talk to you later. And that was a great. That was great that they. And I think that was was that the same actor, Hugo Weaving. Yeah, it looked like him. But they brought well, him back, and he was willing to like do that. A lot of CGI. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't him. But I don't need him anymore. Like he's yeah. done oh, the that, part. It, it looked good, and the yeah. fact that he's there gives me hope that he can maybe come back. Yep. Yeah. You know, and be like powerful and. I like that he's been living there. It's just infinite. Like he's yeah. just he knows yeah. knows things. Yeah, knows shit. Yeah, um, he's it. actually not credited. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, well, they probably did that on purpose so they didn't ruin it. Right. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. yeah, Hugo Weaving's name come up. Yeah. Like, oh, be like, shit. oh, Megatron's in the movie. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, Red but Skull's in. But the I movie. mean, the movie is complex enough where you know, all right, like Ken says, let's face it, it's the Thanos movie. It is. But. You know, it's everyone looks at Thanos as this big bad guy. I mean, those of us who have read the comics realize that there's some complexity to him, mm-hmm. and they sort of built that into it, where he actually he actually believes in what he's doing. It's not he's not just a nihilist. He actually is trying to save what mm-hmm. he feels is to save the 
the universe. Yeah, and it wasn't even to the fact of like I want to rule the universe. No. Like like how some bad right. guys are. I want to. Yeah. I want to rule. I want to take over. I want to be the. It was. I'm just going to fix it, and I, I, then I'm going to go right off into the sunset. And mm-hmm. I think that was a nice alteration from the pl- from the plot that we all thought it would be, where he's you know he wants to be Death's booty call, and yeah. you know he's doing this right. to yeah. make her feel good. Well, I think the great part is whenever Gamora starts yelling at him for killing everyone off. He goes, "Have you been there? Now it's like paradise. Yeah, it's right. paradise, and there's no one starving, and it's yeah. all good." Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, "That's great." Like, it, it's actually thoughts that I think go through people's minds of like. Yeah. You know, we got all these homeless. We got all yeah. the riffraff, like he said, the bad people. I got rid of all of them. Yeah, there was no deciding factor. Yeah. Rich, well, poor, it. like it just half. Yeah, he, he took. Yeah, rich, poor. He took everybody. Yep. He just said, and I love the visualization of of the the planet where he literally has his forces split them in half, and then one half just gets murdered, murdered. and the other half yeah. just stands there. Yeah, and the, it's interesting. I mean, the the whole idea where you know they didn't even show his interrogation of the collector and how, you know, you had that sort of, he had that sort of thought that the forethought to actually lure Gamora in. So he had already got the, the stone off the collector. He'd already gotten the reality stone off he the collector. He was faking her out with that. Yeah, yeah that's that's how, that's, how, that's yeah. how he made everything look. Yeah, it was already destroyed and leveled. And Here's my I'm question. I confused there. How far ahead did Thanos know about the soul stone? Because why would he have played to get Gamora to never nowhere if he didn't realize is he needed to 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 sacrifice somebody love to get the soul stone well i don't know if he thought he didn't know he had to sacrifice somebody love he knew she knew where it was because he tortured nebula for it. right okay and nebula nebula has been captured since what the second guardian of the Gal- yeah Guardians nebula of the came movie? to kill him yeah yeah he, i get that he captured her saw that memory and that took like, place like four years ago right right yeah and then that's why he was like oh so gamora knows exactly where it's at because she hit it she has the, she knew the map to it but was she he just playing map. along just so he could get her there i think he was just luring her in Knowing that she would come there looking for the other stones, and yeah. she already got one. Well, had... I'm talking about: Did he lure her the same way he lured her to nowhere? Did he lure her to the soul stone? No, he. I think she thought that he would actually not be able to get the soul stone. I think he knew the whole time that he could. Okay. Because I think why. I want to know how she knew. There's one of the other people that knew where it was. Like I didn't understand why she knew because he sent her out to look for it. Yeah. That's why I think that's whenever she found it, that's probably when she def- the defected, defected from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Nebula's an idiot. I mean, instead of just joining with the Guardians, you go get yourself captured and tortured. Well, but she's that, but that's that's her. She's always been damaged in the tortured soul, and yeah. her her sole purpose in life is revenge. I like the part. He's like, "Why don't you just kill me?" And he's like, "It'd be a waste of parts." Yeah. 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 <laughs> and right. and one one just one last thing. I'm really happy. The Black Watch. Black yeah. Order. Black you keep order. calling it a Black Watch. <laughs> the Black I Order. The Black I don't order. know why you hate the Black Order so much. I, I just, love Thanos having minions. I love those guys. Those guys. Well, no, 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 I like a lot of little great. yellow I guys like, and suspenders running around under Thanos. I like, I like the idea of the minions, but yeah. the way the, <laughs> the, the way the way they're played, <laughs> the yeah. yeah, they just make me want to hate them. We're not supposed to like them. Well, I guess was Ebony Maw that ever that powerful. Ebony Maw, I never remember having telepathic mm, powers he was, he was or telekinetic power. He was yeah. more of the tactician. Though, right? he, he had the mental stuff because he got in your brain yeah. and yeah. manipulated you. I don't yeah. remember him being able to move all the <laughs> Jean Grey level telekinetic. I, I think it's that. a lot easier to do. All right, he's a mental super, like a mental villain, so we can do telekinesis stuff instead of telepathic. He like he was never a head-on villain. No, like if Black Dwarf he's a puppet played master. Enough, he would be in. The, he wasn't like running in the fort. He'd be in the background, lurking around. Yeah. Talking in people's ears, that kind of stuff. Like Mind that. control. Yeah. And it's the 19th. What? It's the 19th. Infinity movie. War is the 19th MCU movie. Okay. You know, Thank that's you. F. <laughs> but yeah, I think they made him more powerful than they had to. I thought they kind of pussified Corvus Glaive a little bit. Eh. I mean, Corvus Glaive in the comic was, a, they, they were they were tough. Like, he got his ass kicked by Black Widow, Cap, and, and Falcon. Three Avengers that, that don't, aren't really all that tough. You know what I mean? And they, like, handed him his ass. He's like, I can't get up. I was like, boy, you're, what happened to you? Yeah, they, they, they put all of his strength in, the, in that staff. Yeah. It seemed like yeah. that, that was what he had. Because yeah. he's, he's cool, and, and I, I, liked, I liked those characters in, in the books. They're, I always thought Corvus Glaive and Proxima Midnight also had more powers than their weapon. Well, her weapon is supposed to be able to cut through anything. 
It's like the, the whole heart of a dying star thing. Yeah. Proxima Midnight inside her blade is like a something of that nature that can cut through almost anything. So it should be a more powerful weapon. Maybe they gave it to him because he was able to cut Vision even when he was yeah. trying and couldn't go. He couldn't face. I think mm-hmm. she would have killed Black Widow in a fight. For the fact that they were like holding her own against her. like. Well, yeah. she never fought anyone one-on-one. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I mean... They were, I, I guess they just served as cannon fodder because you're going to get to the real, it'll just be all And let's be honest, movie. there's, n- n- I don't want to cut it in no, uh, Lance's ahead. turn. What? We can't believe anyone's actually gone in this movie. No, yeah, well, I think they died because I think Thanos has no use for them eh. anymore. Like, I don't think, like, he was like, oh, the mall didn't make it. Shame. Yeah. Well, I, a lot of tolls in this day. Like, yeah. That's what I like about Thanos. Well, like, but, you know, that's the whole thing. Anybody who's, Listened or watched any of the story arcs that have the Infinity Gauntlet in it, no one's ever dead. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's the epitome of comic books. Right. right. You want to go next? <laughs> it's the reboot without a reboot. Yeah, <laughs> I know you can go. I'll just cut it and tell what I. Okay. <laughs> so I, I think, as far as living up to expectations, I, I feel like it did for me, and the fact that I, I've been wanting to see everybody together for a long time, and it was well done. I, I if it was forced or goofy or done bad I would have been upset with this movie but it was well designed well thought out so I really enjoyed it I really thought that it was it, it's an epic movie it, you know I could watch it again and pick up a lot of different mm-hmm. things my biggest gripe with this movie is I hate what they did to the Hulk I, here, my thing with that movie is don't even have him in the movie then if he's not gonna you had a commercial where he's running through the jungle of Wakanda and I, I don't know if that was just to throw <clears throat> everybody off well, I guess that's what it was, but yeah. I, I, I don't like that. Like, don't don't give me that because it made me think like Hulk and I think Hulk. If you would have kept him, if he wasn't this like he was cis, he was afraid of Thanos. I think they missed out on some good team up stuff in that movie. Like, if he could have turned into Hulk in New York, I would have loved to seen Spider Man and the Hulk take on Black Dwarf in Central Park. There, I thought that would have been a really cool scene. I would have loved to seen him like. Go toe to toe with with uh, Call of City or Black Dwarf, whatever, mm-hmm. and then finish him off in Wakanda, like kick the shit out of him and kill him. Like I thought, they really robbed us of some really good Hulk interaction with other characters. I didn't like him in that suit the entire time. I thought it was kind of stupid. Um, well, but so all of the stuff you said you didn't like mm-hmm. that whets your appetite for the next one. But I don't think they're going to do that in the next one because here here's my thing. I wanted Hulk teamed up with the other guys fighting a lot of stuff. This is going to be all against Thanos. So I wanted to see Hulk kick the shit out of someone like Call Obsidian. I wanted to see Hulk destroying all those little minions and turning the tide. Like, if I would, in my world, if I would have done this, I wouldn't have had Thor land on, on Wakanda. I would have had Thor land on Titan, save Tony and them, and been there. And I would have had the, the Tide Turner, right. been Hulk busting out of that Hulk buster, completely ch- turning the tide, Kicking the Black Dwarf's ass and then Thanos beats him at the end. If it was going to be one movie, I would agree with you. But you need you need that build up. This is going to be how Hulk gets his groove back. In the I, next I've one. never seen Hulk in a comic book that I read be afraid of anybody, and he was legit afraid. And I don't understand. To me, I feel like that's Mark Ruffalo adding his two cents to a movie. Mm-hmm. Been like, you know, it'll be cool, Russo brothers, if Hulk's like afraid and won't come out, and we're having a talk. I don't know why he's afraid. Have you ever read a comic book where the Hulk was like? No, 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 I'm afraid I'm like a big baby. I feel like in the MCU, there's been a decline of the Hulk. Like, he was such a badass in earlier movies and so strong where he, like, took on a whole Chathari ship but with one hand punched and knocked it down. But then Thor, he got beat up. That's the first time he got... Thor, he became... Yeah. Thor Ragnarok, he was like a big bratty kid that was playing with his toys. Well, that's what he is. Room. He is a big he, bratty he's kid. A, he is a person of pure emotion, and he got his ass beat by a guy. But he's, a, but he's rage. The yes, rage but, is what keeps him going. In this movie, when he get you've seen him in books but, when he's gotten his ass kicked. He's, he's get, the bully. He got knocked get down. Get more anger can. and attack back. He didn't get more anger. It, it's it's like the, like Mike Tyson quote. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Yeah, but Hulk's punched been punched in the face. In the, Hulk has no fear. When have you ever seen Hulk in a comic book have fear of anyone? And be like, I'm I'm sorry, Don, at 11.30, I can't research that right now. But, but you, I can maybe... I'm just saying off the top of your head, reading Hulk bo- books, have you ever seen him being totally afraid where he won't even come out? Where where Black Widow's going to die and all these people are going to die that he cared about, and he's hiding inside Banner. It's really goofy. 
I mean, I wouldn't be. I'm sure it's been written somewhere, but I also can see based on a, 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 a creature of pure emotion like that. But he's not a creature of pure emotion. He's a creature of rage. But he got punt like he got beat up. What, what's there to be raged about? But so, that's happened to him before, where he's gotten not like in a, the MCU. Not in the MCU. Well, look at Abomination when he first hit him. Abomination was kicking his ass. Abomination had a had a thing wrapped around his neck, choking him out until he saw Betty about to fall, and then the anger snapped in him, and he started beating the shit. He lost that fight to Abomination and was about to get choked and killed until he saw Betty in danger, and then he was like. The anger took over him. This movie, he took a couple punches by Thanos and was laying there with a bloody nose. And then when they were like, "Oh, I'm too afraid to come but out," the whole of you. idea is that Thanos is that powerful. <laughs> I know. It's more to build Thanos than to hurt yeah. Hulk. I kind of think you hit the nail on the head with that with Betty Ross thing too, because the the only way you're getting Hulk back in movie two is if something happens to the Widow. Right. Yeah. And, and well, she was going to get killed in that movie, and right. he didn't seem to really care. Yeah. But was well, he around? He, for he wasn't, wasn't around, around for it. For it. I mean, you're about to face a giant horde of villains, and he's like, Hulk, we need you. Hulk, we need you. All our friends need you. We're counting on you. And he's. I yeah. think that the reason why. I think there's going to have to be a meld. Like, there's, there isn't a Hulk, and there isn't a Banner. It's Banner is the Hulk. It's the same person. It's not two things. Well, that's not how they write it nowadays. It's not, but he needs to. It's going to happen. Yeah, and that's how he's going to be able to. That's how the Hulk's coming back. It's going to be a meld of the two characters. Smart so, Hulk. So he's going to be Smart Hulk. Oh, he's gonna be Gray Hulk. That'll be cool. And Joe fix it. Yes. I, I don't know. It was just my Gray. I didn't like it. I didn't like the whole him going, "What's wrong in there, buddy?" and trying to tap his face out. And they're like, "What's going on with your friend over here?" And it was like the running joke mm-hmm. that like they couldn't get him to kickstart, turn the engine. Performance over. anxiety. Yeah, he had performance anxiety. Because maybe it's not so much Hulk, and maybe it's Banner. Banner seemed to want it though. He was calling for him. We got a problem, buddy. We got to work it out. I don't know what's going on with you. That's, I don't like when they're writ- written as two different people. It's not a Jekyll and Hyde. It's he's the same person. Well, I mean, in the MCU, he's always referred to him as the other guy. Yeah, it's always been that way. I think Jason, Jason well, but they've never the who wrote them separately. Good. I was going to say they've never they've never them. they've never referred like Hulk doesn't really ever refer to Banner. No. Why well, he says puny banner and things of that nature? Sometimes, well, but but he, but he's not refer he's not referring to like how banner thinks or feels. He's just referring to like I was the puny. I banner. guess it depends what you read. I mean, I, 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 current Hulk right now like completely hates Banner and is like <laughs> angered and rage and you know that wants nothing to do with him. Like Wonder Man was trying to like reason with him to calm him down, and he kept saying, "You think you're talking to Banner?" And he like beat the shit out of Wonder Man. He's like. <laughs> I know you're in there, Bruce, and he's like, he ain't. It's just me now. And he, like, kicks the shit out of him and the rest of the Avengers, and, you know. But I guess it's ever who's writing him. I didn't like the yeah. way this Hulk's written. To me, this is Mark Ruffalo in- in- influence. Because, <laughs> like he said a year ago, Mark Ruffalo said, I want the Hulk to be afraid of Thanos. And everybody was like, what's he talking about? He put it out in a tweet. He was spoiling the movie back he then and not, and not letting anyone in on it. And they really threw us because we just talked today about the toy mm-hmm. with yeah. the Hulk Buster with There's the more toys coming with the Hulk yeah. busting out of it. We thought for sure yeah. that's what you were going to see. I was yep. totally waiting for it, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like nothing. And when they all jumped on top of him, and started they have like, "Here it comes." Here's the scene where you're going to hear the growl, and he's going to bust out and go nuts because the trailer was the three of the of them running yeah. there with it. You know, they wasted CGI on a fake trailer. Yeah. Which, <laughs> I, I, but the scene that they put the Hulk in was they just like, "Oh, we're just going to put the Hulk Buster in." And that's what they did. They just totally replaced it. It did. So, I mean, other than that, that was the, one of the things I, I, I just really didn't care for. One of the best parts, I think, of the movie is when you finally see uh, the look on Vision and Scarlet Witch's face is when they realize Cap's back. I thought, as yep. a Captain America guy, mm-hmm. when he showed up behind the train, caught the spear, when he walked back into the Avengers mansion, or Avengers <laughs> thing was like, mm-hmm. whatever, the stupid Thunderbolt Ross. Uh, <laughs> it was yeah. just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I like I like Cap in this movie a lot. I thought he was really really good. What yeah, about, Cap's he, great. He is. He's great. What about your thoughts? Um, so my thoughts is I thought they did the story of Thanos throughout this entire movie. I thought was great. Um, they didn't make him a mindless Marvel zombie villain where he's just like, oh, I have to do this because of X, Y, and Z. Like, it's he had a purpose. He felt emotion. He went on a trip. Like, I feel like he, that, this movie really was about him completing a task, and he did. I liked all the other stuff. I liked that they explained where Hawkeye and Ant-Man are. Mm-hmm. They, 
they with their families with their families. Oh, yeah. yeah, that makes more sense because it makes more sense because they didn't really have time to gather the yeah. everybody. It was just happening. Yeah, or mm-hmm. this now they can maybe go search them out. Yeah, and I can see Hawkeye and Ant Man joining because half of their loved ones are dead. Wow. So yeah. they they lost their kids. Yeah. yeah, no show scenes of them like going away to dust. Maybe they'll show that in Ant Man and the Wasp this summer. Maybe that movie takes place. That's the post credit scene. Yeah. yeah. While this is going on, then the post credit scene is like, like Wasp, Hank Pym yeah. disappearing with his daughter disappearing, you know, and then they're like, holy shit. Yeah, it would be, uh, it'd be interesting. Yeah, because they could have used Ant Man and Wakanda. They could have used Giant Man. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. For all those horrors. Well, I mean, you could things. use, yeah, yeah. Well, and, and Pym would have, Pym could have helped with the vision thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he could have definitely helped out. So sure. I'm, I, I'm disappointed that we have to wait for that. To see them in that. It's I, only I, a year. Yeah. I think the next movie is going to be the movie that we all want. You know what I mean? I think this one was like your setup for it. We're in the next It's movie. Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Empire, Return of the King. Yeah. You're yeah. going to get your... Don't, there's only one trilogy. <laughs> only one. I'm sorry. There's more books in this one. Oh, no. So I have a prediction. Go ahead. I think Shuri replicated the uh, Mind Stone. I think she was able to recreate it. Because she got real happy before, and then closed whatever she yeah. was working oh, on. Good call. Yeah. So I think interesting. I think so she she'll come down and put something inside mm-hmm. and wake him back up yeah. with all his conscious in it and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Vision ain't dead. That's true. Because yeah. they she they made they sort of made the point in the movie that the Mind Stone is only a portion of Vision. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just thought that she downloaded his conscience into something so that she can give it to him later. Well, let's face so it. It's going to be another Ultron? Paul mm-hmm. Bethany it has nothing else to do but play Vision. Oh, yeah. He ain't, he ain't yeah, Robert Downey Jr. No. Or, like, or, or, you know, Captain America. They want to go on to other <laughs> yep. movies. He's like, I'll be Vision for the rest of my life if you let me. Yep. You know what I mean? He ain't going anywhere else. Well, he's a great the, vi- dude for plays Loki. Oh, yeah. We didn't even talk about that. No, oh, yeah, yeah Loki jumped, jo- uh, five minutes in. Choked out. Like, I couldn't bitch. believe that they killed him. I thought he were going to do some kind of illusion. They killed so many people so early. Heimdall died. Well, but I mean, th- I think I think that's the idea. They wanted to smack you in the face. Yeah, oh, yeah. like well, no one was safe. Right. So let's talk about people that we think are actually dead as opposed to the fade away. Like, no one's think, actually dead. I think, number one, Loki ain't coming back. I think he's dead. I think that's the end of Loki's tell for right now. Unless they go dramatic and try to do something new. I think him and Heimdall are for sure dead. I can see them doing the Straczynski run of Thor whenever they come back. Because Thor even said, oh, Loki's died a bunch of times. I just don't think, <laughs> he's, I don't think he's coming back as Thor anytime soon. I don't think they're doing any more Thors. He, he might not be, but I can see if they ever wanted to do another Thor. They do the one where they show back up on Earth. and He'll be a woman. He'll be a woman. I can see that happening. Yeah. Yeah. Brock, who else do you think is dead for sure? Gamora. Mm. You think so for sure? No more Gamora? Yeah, I think she's gone. Because she couldn't be in the Soul Stone and Adam Adam Warlock brings her yeah, I think back she, out I or think something? she is the Soul Stone. You think she is the Soul Stone? Oh. When she fell, her soul created the stone. Uh, that, so was, you, that, that was that was that was that was the uh, that was the tribute. That the was soul so for soul. Break the Soul Stone up and Gamora comes back yeah. to life kind of thing. <laughs> Because she signed... Here's the thing with these movies. If you go to the like Internet Movie Database, she signed on for Guardians 3. Right. So it's yeah. like, is she really dead? Or, is it a flashback? Or a flashback? Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, I, I, I mean, that's a, it's a long shot, but I think that there was no physical stone. That's why it was so hard to find. She just found where the, the altar... altar where you had to, to sacrifice yourself at. Was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't believe anyone's really dead until this movie. These Some of them are... felt Heimdall Fennel's dead to me. I don't think they really have much room for him oh, anymore. So dead. He can, <laughs> he can reincarnate too. Yeah. All of the Asgardians can reincarnate if they need to for cheaper well, actors. I think the villains. Bingo. I think the villains are dead. I think the Black Order's dead. I don't think you'll see. Okay. Yeah. I don't think they have much room uh, for I, them I anymore. I agree because, like you said, why would Thanos have any use? He's for not going to need them now. They're they're pointless. He won't need him or their. Yeah. Yep. He has nothing more to fight for. Yeah. He did what he wanted to do. The only way I think you would see them again is if they have some movie and they need, in the future, they need, like, some cheap cameos. And, like, oh, Corvus Glaive never died, you know, he's here, you know, yeah. do something like that. Ebony well, Maw, tell him, he did the... You, or you need a Guardians villain for Guardians 5. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ebony yeah, Maw in space, like, could have easily yeah. found a way to survive there. And, he and pulled Guardians. the Princess Leia and just gravitated <laughs> yeah. into a ship. He does have telekinesis. Yeah, yeah, so in Guardians 4 or whatever, he shows up terrorizing them. You know? With Thanos' son. He's got Thane. Yeah. Thane, yes. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, his alien, could, he could have been frozen space, but he could have survived with his... <laughs> I thought that was a good... I liked that Peter Parker was using the movie references. Yeah. And Star-Lord and him kind of got it. I like when he's like, we're going to do this movie, Aliens. And they suck the alien out. Yeah. Aliens. Really and really old movie. Yeah, yeah. Is Footloose old. still the best movie uh, ever? He's like, it never was. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no. How long are we going to have to have a superhero fight? Like, you're all on the same team. Uh, but it was good. Like, I like, because if you looked at all them flying in, none of them looked human except for Doctor Strange. Yeah. Right. But he got taken out early by Drax or somebody. Like, Something, he, yeah. yeah. So it was just a cape. It was just his. I thought Doctor Strange was really good in this movie. That was great. Uh, yeah. All the magic yeah. stuff that he was doing, and it showed him being such a badass. Yeah. Oh yeah. He sprouted all the arms. I liked. Then, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was, was that was a really cool. cool. Scene, and then it was multiple. I think my favorite thing is he's like he's like no tricks, just give me the stone, and he looks in the background and grabs a star. And it turns into the gem. I was like, yeah. that's fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he just had it hiding over there. Yeah. He saw the one scenario where they didn't die, was giving up the stone. stone right. Yep. He's like, we're in the end game now, Tony, which I thought was a great, great mm-hmm. quote. Yeah. Because you can't tell Tony it because he's going to, it's probably, he has to probably sacrifice himself. Yeah. So well, let's. I mean, and, and the, the ego, the ego of Tony against. Doctor Strange, yeah, that you know those two personalities. Because if you would have talked about Doctor Strange in the beginning of the Doctor Strange movie, mm-hmm. it would have been a totally different battle or a totally different outcome. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, those are the same characters. On there's a, something in the comic books where they kind of make it like Tony is technology supreme, where Doctor Strange is a sorcerer. sorcerer <laughs> <supreme, right. laughs> You're led right into sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, uh, yeah. They're the two masters of their own arts. Yep, exactly. And they look alike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> makes sense. So let's talk about the end credit. I was kind of disappointed there wasn't two. Yeah. I didn't think there was going to be one at all. I said to Rob, yeah. I, bet, I bet there's nothing in this one. Well, Which I, just... I think I think the I think the where they just had that black solemn list of the names. I I think that was partly partially. Yeah, yeah. I just would expect you know the the, mo- the movies that they do so many scenes. Oh, no. Guardians yeah. had like 15 end scenes, <laughs> and it's so where like the stupid shit too. They could have gave us two. Something. I'm fine with this. Even if I would have Thanos at the end, just sitting on the throne or in the. In. But the whole thing is those those previous movies had multiple movies to hype. Yeah, right. Their their focus was you are going to watch the next Avengers movie. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Yeah. You're gonna get Ant Man. So uh, it was cool. When and then this. Right. when do you think? I mean, because Fury wasn't like with Maria Hill and all that. And, and last time you saw Fury was Age of Ultron. He kind of disappeared at the end. I'm just glad that he was in this movie somewhere. I yeah. know. I mean, I hate that he was in the, the the end credits, but like him and Maria Hill, and then they start fading away. He almost gave a mother. After oh, which is yeah. great. Yeah. Which is yeah. great. And he was texting long distance outer space. Listen, texting Captain a pager. he was a pager. Just straight up, it was the yeah. it was pager from the, the sky tell pager yeah. with her with her na- a logo appears. Yeah, so. I mean, it's got to be. She paid a lot of money back in ninety four. So 94. if you had missed, if you had Captain Marvel in your pocket, the, the interter- time, the interplanetary paging plan. Yeah, how uh, how comes you never used her before? She's the fail safe. She never needed to. Mm-hmm. They came pretty close. But Pretty, in the world scenarios before. But the Avengers always stepped up and now they're they're dead or missing. Yeah. Like and I think he's always Nick, kept her I was gonna say Nick Fury is all about contingencies. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was a she was back pocket. Yeah, he went he, running for it. Like yeah, I keep even that. Shield where's that Captain know. Marvel page? It's yeah. in the back seat of my car in yeah. a bag, in a duffel bag. Does it keep that charged? Is there always batteries in it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do find it funny though that um, that Tony Stark to Summon Captain America has a flip phone. That's what Cap gave him. Yeah, well, yeah, it's what Cap gave him. And what's yeah. hilarious is he scoffs at. He's like, "I'm using an effing flip phone," yeah. <laughs> and he hates the fact that he has this on him. Yeah. But he still carries it with him at all times. Yeah, right. which is cool. Yeah. So, do you think Captain Marvel's movie will be like her '90s recap and all that, almost like a Captain America movie, where it's in the past, yeah. and mm-hmm. then the last scene will be she's back in modern times, while probably off on some world somewhere, and get the call. It would be great if the end of that mo- the end of that movie is what happens at Nova Prime. Like what? Thanos coming and destroying the Nova Core because to get the. No I, I don't think you're going to see that. I think you have to see it at some point in time. That would that would be that would be a nice callback. Yeah, like because you're ever, be if you're, you're at the end of that Nova. and then all of a sudden if she like, sees yeah. that happening though, would she head for Earth preemptively? Then why would she not, go to Earth? Not because she didn't. She she doesn't have any concept of. 
the Infinity Stones. She doesn't know the Infinity Stones are on Earth. As far Fury, as we know. Fury as didn't know as, they were on Earth. I mean, as far as we know, she is in, in in space and all that. She might have an idea. She may. I think the only reference you get in Captain Marvel is her meeting Nick Fury. And it's not going to be now. It'll just be, Well, hey, yeah, it takes place in the 90s. He's yeah, going to know even at the end, it's going to be eye. like, hey, take this pager. If you ever need me, give me a call. Yeah. And that's it. That's all you're going to get. I think the end credit, she's going to get that other end of that page. Like, yeah. Wherever mm-hmm. she's at somewhere, sitting somewhere, fighting or whatever, and will get it. Half the people and, fade and be away. Like, you know, some take off for her, something of that nature. I, you know? just, I think she's going to have a big role in the next one. Yeah. Her with Cap and, and all together, you know, she'll be a big help. You know, all together. All together. Adam Warlock. How do you get him to... How do you get him to bring people back to life? You have to get the gauntlet off him. Did yeah. you notice whenever Thanos was trying to cr- crush Captain America, he couldn't do it? And he looked at the gauntlet and Cap had a hold of the gauntlet while he was yeah. holding it. And it was like the gauntlet had no power. And then he had to use his left hand and to punch him. punched him in the face. I think Cap's going to hold that gauntlet by the time this is all said and done. Do you? I think Cap is a human that Thanos is going to overlook when he has the whole gauntlet. And it's going to be the nebula scene where he just... Whoop, and puts it on and fixes everything. Or he destroys the gauntlet and causes all time and reality to close in on each other like Hickman's run of Yeah, maybe he wasn't <laughs> able to do... Because he looked kind of perplexed. Yeah. Like, huh. You know, Cap could lift a hammer. Cap, yeah. Yeah. Cap, Cap moved the hammer. I think there's something more to Captain America because of his virtue. And we're in America, so... Fuck yeah, America. Yeah. We can do shit. Yeah. <laughs> so much editing in this. I'm sorry. I'm excited. It's okay. Now, the question is, do you think they're going to have Eternals in the next movie? No. I don't think you can even get in. There's enough stuff that you have to go back to and tell stories about yeah. to, to wrap this story up before you can even even think about I think you have yeah. to get Nova. Right. Obviously, you get Captain Marvel. See, I think if you do a Nova type movie, there's where you could show the fall of Xandar and right. mm-hmm. some kind of ultimate the fall weapon. of Xander. <laughs> what do they call? Isn't it? Is it Xan- uh, Xandar? Xandar. Yeah. yeah. I saw his name. There could be the helmet leaving and going yeah. somewhere. And the yeah, that Nova Prime would be creative when the whole Nova Corps. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So I forgot what I was going to say. Now I lost it. What do we think of Thor's new hammer? Stormbreaker? It looked Plot awfully convenience. big. It's awful big. Yeah, it is it awfully was awful big. big. Hey, this hammer, it'll heal you. It'll let you teleport places because it's, it's connected yeah. to the Bifrost. Yeah. This, this is the hammer of plot convenience. Yeah, that was a hammer yeah. of plot convenience. Yeah. But so, they said all that so before they made it. Yeah, they, they did. They did. The, but that's, as soon as they said all that, I'm like, oh, yep, there we go. The king's weapon. Yeah, yeah. G- Groot's arm was the handle for it. Did they misplace the hammer? Where was the other handle for it? I don't know. <laughs> so, so, so Peter Dinklage is... Uh, I, I I now I drink and I build things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Mm-hmm. With his stone hands or yes. his metal hands. His metal hands. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was all right. I, I thought Thor, you know, Thor. They've been where I said the Hulk. They've been dumbing down. Thor. They've been building up. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's With what's his gonna... godlike power and everything. He's really the heavy hitter. I feel like Thor's gonna turn into Odin, and he's just gonna be somewhere. And it's like we need some shit. Yeah. Thor. He... I, all those big three are going to go away. Yeah. And they're only going to be when they need it. Yep. Cap, will, Cap will run S.H.I.E.L.D. Cap and Nick Fury will run S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, you know, they'll sh- Iron Man will show up once. Well, they're just going to appear in movies when they need them. Yeah. And whenever they're making, instead of Avengers, when they're making Fantastic Four movies. Fantastic yeah. Four, three. Yep. The Call mm-hmm. of Galactus and those three shows. Well, this will finally finally give them the, the reason, a reason not to have Pepper Potts in a movie. Oh. I actually feel like, too, you might see the big three all get... Infinity Stones. They have to, to get, take them, go somewhere. Yeah, and they have to. They're now the like they're the new Infinity Watch. Yeah, and they give one to Professor X at the end of, at the, end of the next movie. <laughs> Professor just, X wills just, in just to just to usher them in. Yes. Yeah, just to usher them in. Really? They found a guy to give them to. Yeah, I think you're gonna see Don actually actually climax if that happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it won't be the first time. <laughs> He'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I did have to pee a few times. <laughs> Just drinking too much water all day long. Um, what was the other part I wanted to mention? Oh, we talked. Did we cover everybody? We covered Thor's weapon. Yep. We talked about Peter Dinklage a little yep. bit. Red Skull. I think we got it all. The, the whole end scene, my wife said, was very biblical. 
with like half the population, the rapture, the rapture yeah. like uh, half yeah. the population disappearing. It is. It's very much. You mean when everyone died from apocalyptic dust? They, they did, didn't die they from it. They became dust. <laughs> they became dust. <laughs> they was from an apocalypse. A helicopter dust. pilot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, but in the book, I mean, in the, in in the books, I mean, that's how it happened. Right? They, well, just, like, they just disappeared. They just disappeared. They just, right. Like, and it was like mid conversation. Yeah. So someone was sitting there talking to someone. And it was like that. I didn't like that some people was quick, some people was slow. I didn't know how that would work. I like Peter that Parker's that... was so slow because he had to like hug Tony, lay on the ground where everybody else was like, "What?" And it was just like now, the, the, the only, the only, the only excuse I would give for that is maybe the te- nanotechnology in the suit kept. The de- I don't think it would have any de- power. Kept over the there. degradation at <laughs> bay for a little bit, not off cod like power. I think just, just long enough to give that silly little dialogue or well, the, monologue, and off it goes. The dust was just for dramatic effect. Like uh-huh. it, yeah, everyone's got to see this go slowly so they can feel it. So yeah, so they can something. look shocked. Yeah. But I thought Black Panthers was a good death scene. He looked shocked. She looked shocked on the other end. <laughs> Poor Falcon just died alone. Yeah, he just they're died never, alone. Yeah, they're never gonna, yeah. Surprise ever War Machine didn't, yeah. didn't go. Yeah. So remaining people, you had War Machine, Cap, Thor. Um, Widow. Widow, Hulk, Iron Man, Iron Man up in Gamora. space with, with Nebula. 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 Nebula, not many. Ro- Rocket, 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 Rocket stays. He's the only Guardian that survived. Yeah, yeah. him and yeah. him and Nebula. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Very small crowd, and then of course maybe Ant Man, Wasp, and Hawkeye are still there. Right, maybe. And Captain Marvel. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I mean, obviously, but you well, know. and you have Vision's corpse. Vision will be back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is new... So you assume that that was it, Sur- Surrey? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I did. I, again, I don't like that Surrey has to be the smartest person in the Marvel universe. That she was like telling Bruce Banner, "Why'd you and Tony Stark do it this way? It's so long." She just, she just instantly figured out how to connect a powerful alien orb to an, an android body. She knew the easy way around it. I'm like, come on. I get that she's smart, but is she smarter than Tony and and Bruce put together? Well, it's until Reed shows up. Yeah, Until so Josh Jumel shows up, but, 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 but also, but also, it's it's like Monday Morning Quarterback, back, and they've done all the work. She's actually just looking at. The it's that Marvel nonsense back. where they're because like, I saw them post that before. She's the smartest person in the MCU. <laughs> Till Reed shows up. <laughs> I think we talked about it on the way over. I was really surprised that they basically the Black Panther went. Oh yeah, off that's the popularity yeah. of that movie. People were sitting there going. You know, people that didn't watch before that movie because it was so popular went into this movie going, we're going to get some more Wakanda forever. Right. And at the end of it, they're walking out going. <laughs> I thought Michonne was totally going to eat it. I thought she was dust. Yeah, yeah I thought it was going to be she was they, were com- they were coming together. Dust. I thought Surrey it was going to be her. Right. Or Surrey you didn't left. see. You didn't see. What was the thing you said to me at the theater? You thought... Go. What happened to Thanos' glove? You thought it... So, whenever he snapped, and it, I think something happened, and it power surged, and he, it might... Yeah, because it was damaged. It was damaged, and his whole arm and his left side is. So, I don't know if that's the explosion of power from him using it all at the same time, or what. But he's definitely... it's, And you didn't really see it. I think it's mangled. Or, so, you know, you don't know. Well, yeah. but in the, in, the, in the last scene where he wakes up and does the sunrise, he doesn't, he doesn't have, have it. it. Oh, it's, it's not yeah, on? Yeah, it's not even no. on him, yeah. Wow. Well, that was when he was with Gamora. No, 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 no. When he was sitting in that sunset. When he's sitting in his farmer thing. Yeah, yeah farmer thing. Yeah, I don't think it was on him at that point. Which I thought was you like could just see, sort of. You could see they only showed him like over the shoulder, and it definitely was like jarring you, yeah. on his shoulder. Yeah. And I thought that was a nice nod to the actual original Infinity War. Right. My favorite nod to the Infinity Gauntlet book is whenever Hulk Gauntlet, crashes sorry, through. Uh, well. Hulk whenever, crashes through the sanctum. Through the sanctum and is laying there. It's the exact same pose that Silver Surfer is doing whenever he falls down. Yeah. Ah. And he goes, Thanos is coming. That's the ex- that's verbatim from the book. Yeah, that was good. So That was good. Yeah, lots of good stuff. Are we ready to rate this movie now? Yes. Mm-hmm. 15 minutes we've been talking about it. Well, it's, I mean, it's yeah. a lot, it's a lot, a lot to it's talk lot about. I can't, I can't wait to go see it again. Yeah, I I'm going well. Sunday morning. So let's. Uh, and, and at least you won't be mad when the kids like want to get up or something. Yeah, like I'll that. get up and pee with them. And miss other parts of the movie. <laughs> so uh, we're doing special ratings for this movie here yep. instead of our normal. Ken, you are using what? I am using Triathlon Street. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using Infinity Gauntlets. I'm using Captain America Shields. 
Rob, you're using uh, Red Wings. Falcons, uh, Falcons Red run. Wings. <laughs> Lance, you're using. I'm using Nova helmets. Now, Lance and Brock's using Captain America's missing star. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Movie ratings. We're gonna start with Rob. Uh, I'm gonna go four Red Wings. Four Red Wings. Brock. Four Captain America's missing star. Lance. I will also go for Nova Core helmets. Okay. I I've been looking for a movie to go five on for a long time. Okay, if you go five, I mean. this didn't get five from me because of the stuff I didn't like from the Hulk. But looking at what I gave other MCU movies, why not that luxury? I gotta. <laughs> I have to rate this higher. I'm going four point five. I. I agree. I'm going 4.5 Infinity Gauntlet. I'm hoping the second one is 4.75. Because <laughs> <laughs> 5, you can't do a 5. Unless it's the Deadpool exact same. 2 is going to be 5. Uh, yes. So there no you Josh go. Brolin. All done. Go see it. Let us know what you think. Yep. And uh, Ken, take us out. All right. Please like, share, subscribe, invite, tell your friends. Uh, enjoy the movie and kiss your mother on the mouth for me. Later.